Hi, today we're going to play around some G code for Simplified 3D. If you have a dual striation machine, whether it be a Replicator 2 that was updated to a Replicator dual bar with the MK7 nozzles, like, like I've done here, or you have a Replicator 2X, the one thing you're going to know when you're printing dual striation with Simplified 3D is it does not purge both nozzles. Now, this is a problem, and also, it's a problem in some of the ways it does purge because if you have an updated heat bed like this bottle works heat bed here you actually just put a big blob that gets stuck to your nozzle in the corner Pro probably the left corner most likely all the time so I've created some code that actually purges your left and your right and it does it off the plate and these little black lines here indicate where the stock R2X heat bed plate would be this way we can see, and I can show you that it, this profile will work for either or. If you're running the stock heat bed, or if you're running a bottle works heat bed, it should be able to work for you. So let's go ahead and load this. So what I ended up doing was in kind of the same concept that Simplify 3D originally had was purge off the bed. But I purged the right nozzle, or tool zero, off the right side of the bed. And then I go over, and I purge the left, off the left side of the bed. And I do a slow wipe on both of them. And you'll see, when it wiped, it wiped past the lines here. So it would have been past the stock heat bed plate. I'm going to tune it a little bit better, so I can actually get it. So it doesn't start doing the slow wipe until right about when it hits the glass and then take it over. So this way we have about two inches on a bottle works being slow wiped and one inch for sure being wiped on a stock heat bed plate for the Replicator 2X. So I'll put a link to the uh, G code in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll see what else I can come up with. Thanks.